Your generosity fuels all of Westside's efforts to make disciples, equip families, and share Christ's love here and around the world. I always thought I didn't have a story because I grew up in church and a lot of people um, had a, a powerful born-again story or hadn't started out as Christians, but my story is that God's always been there. God has never, never took his eyes off of me, never taken his hand off my life. Now as I'm growing up, I know that every time I, I speak to God, he's listening and I will always get an answer whether I know it right away or not. That is one of the most prevalent aspects of my story, I think. It's just that ever since I was little, God has looked down at me and smiled and said, I'm proud of you too. It's not just the people on the stage. It's not just the pastors or the grown-ups, but I'm proud of you too. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to get really involved here because I've always felt invited in and like I had a place where I could serve and learn, which was always really cool. In grade school, it was always great because I always had a group of friends here, I felt, whether it was small or large at the time. And my leaders ever since I was a kid have always been really encouraging and really accommodating. And that's what created my feeling of being safe in this place ever since I was little. So as I grew up, I got into middle school and the middle school program, I feel like, was really set up to, to prepare us for high school, go into high school knowing who God was even more and be more comfortable with myself. And so I started coming on Wednesday nights and it was really soon after that that I felt like my role was leading worship. And as I started leading worship more and more as a freshman in high school, I did feel that and I felt the power that, that comes with music and comes with gathering and singing together that just unites even high schoolers especially high schoolers. I started singing in the South a lot more. I met Brian Johnson and Hannah Webster and all of these people who were really positive influences in my life and empowered me to be myself and to trust my own leadership skills. Without that, I wouldn't be who I am today because of the way that Westside gave me a place to serve and gave me a group of people who I can trust and created that environment where I can stand up and say that I know the Holy Spirit is working through me and that this is where I'm supposed to be. My parents are some of the most amazing people I have in my life and every time I've gone out and said that I want to I want to do this in God's name. I want to go to Nicaragua in God's name. I want to go to Belize in God's name. I want to I want to serve people. I want to stand out and be different and go to college nearby and hear about revival and pray diligently, they've always been there to pray with me. My friend Whitney and I, we had the idea to start a Bible study in our workplace. And so we started that group with four people and now we're at seven. <laughs> and one of our friends, um, Drew, we'd been praying for him a lot and praying that, that God would be on his heart. And so on Easter, when Randy made a call for people to get baptized, you couldn't shake it. It is undeniable how God has worked through that Bible study and through me and Whitney and Drew. And it was such a blessing to see that come to fullness. Because of how Westside supports kids, regardless of their age, in every ministry, at every level, I know there are kids who are going to grow in their faith the same way that I did. You helped make these blessings possible through your faithful giving. Thank you.